Hey guys, Super Godzilla Final Wars here, and today I'm doing my thoughts and opinions on a YouTube series called Godzilla Bonds of Blood, or aka the Godzilla Bros, or you know what I'm talking about. So, without further ado, let's get over my thoughts and opinions on this series. So, if you're wondering what do I think about it, it's really good. Honestly, it is really, really good. I love this series. At first, it starts off on how a kid will draw Godzilla, basically. Basically, their best... If... If you were a kid and you were trying to draw Godzilla, it starts off kind of like that, basically. It starts off in 2010, I think. And the character designs don't look kind of accurate as their current designs. The story basically follows two Godzilla brothers. One is named Gorgira, and the other one is named Godzilla. Gorgira is basically Godzilla 2000, basically, and Godzilla is basically the Heisei Godzilla, or the Showa Godzilla. But the series got a reboot five years later, basically in 2015. The series got a reboot. This time, all the characters are basically based on the MonsterVerse Kaiju. However, there are some similarities of their original counterparts. Like, for example, Gorgira is basically purple with bright purple bristle spines. Basically, Godzilla 2000, basically. And, well, Godzilla, on the other hand, is well, basically sort of the same thing as the MonsterVerse Godzilla, except the dorsal spines are actually white this time, not trying to be racist or anything. But you, you know what, I, what I'm trying to say, you know, you know, I said, I'm trying to be racist. Anyways, moving on. I will say I do love the design for the MonsterVerse and Gears. I just love it. The story just basically kind of starts off very similar to the original story. Godzilla basically starts living with his older brother, Gorgira. And, uh, yeah. However, things start kicking off in Episode 2. After Angiris got slammed down to the ground by Rodan when he landed, and I will admit, the, mo the MonsterVerse design for Rodan... This was before we got the 2019 design. Anyways. But the MonsterVerse wrote in for 2015. Was really good. Anyways, moving on. So basically, Gorgira left to go get some food. And he's basically battling Ebera. And the main villain in, this, in the 2015 story... Is in fact Space Godzilla. So Space Godzilla sends Mecha Godzilla before we got the 2021 Mecha Godzilla. Anyways, moving on. And the Mecha Godzilla that you see in this series is basically more like a hybrid between Kiru. Showa Mechagodzilla and Heisei Mechagodzilla. So, obviously, a fight breaks up between Godzilla, Mechagodzilla, and Angurius. Ang Angurius. Sorry, I cannot say his name right. 
Godzilla gets his butt whooped by Mechagodzilla, which is kind of odd on one hand, but then again, it's not the first time Godzilla's got his butt whooped by Mechagodzilla, right? Anyways, Angus tries to help Godzilla out, but unfortunately, he too gets overpowered by Mechagodzilla. However, before Mechagodzilla can finish off Angiris completely, Godzilla shows up and saves Angirius. It's by firing his atomic breath. However, not even that stops the mechanical robot. At first, it may look like Godzilla won. But it really does not look like it at all because Mechagodzilla just comes right back up on his feet. Back at the beach, Gorgira comes and basically here's the fight. Moving on to episode 3. Hmm. Sorry about that. Anyways. Godzilla and Aegis are obviously getting destroyed by Mechagodzilla. Although they actually managed to tore off an arm of Mechagodzilla. However, Gorger first shows up and rips off Mechagodzilla's head like it was nothing. However, it may look like it's all over, but unfortunately it's not. Because Titanosaurus shows up, and I will say I do love this design of Titanosaurus. But I think the reboot design looks a lot better. And I'll, and I'll explain later. Anyways, Godzilla starts fighting with... Hunting, wait, not Godzilla. Gorgira starts fighting Titanosaurus. And Gorgira obviously gets the upper hand. However, when he turns his back on him, he eventually gets ambushed. However, this is prevented. Okay, when Rorian shows up and saves Godzilla and I mean, Gorgira. Got it. I'm getting the two confused. However, Mechagodzilla gets back up on his feet and starts to fight again. However, Godzilla starts coming out from behind and tries his best to do some severe damage to Mechagodzilla. This doesn't work and Rodan drops Titanosaurus in the sea. Godzilla fires his atomic breath at Mechagodzilla. What? And Gears jumps from behind him, cuts off one of his arms, and Gorgia fires his atomic breath. To finish off Mecha Godzilla, and Space Godzilla is not happy about that at all. Moving on to the reboot, now known as Godzilla Bonds of Blood. The storyline is basically similar, all, all except for a few things. The animation is changed, and the characters are back to their original designs. With God's with Gorgira being Godzilla two thousand and Godzilla being back to well the Heisei or Showa Godzilla design, it's hard to tell really because it's hard to tell because this design is kind of new and I've not seen it before. And it's kind of hard to tell if it's Heisei or Showa. However, Angiers on the other hand, he looks a bit more like a mix between the Showa and Final Wars design. And the main villain, on the other hand, has been changed to Space Godzilla to an exilium by the name of X. I think. I saw the trailer and I think that's correct. So, yeah. Episode 2 is basically the same. Only except there's something different. And what, and what I mean by that is, well... Mechagodzilla knocks out Gorgira and takes the form and trust to act like Gorgira, so that way he can kill Godzilla and Angers a lot quicker. However, it does not work because Godzilla obviously knows it's not really Gorgira. And like the original, gets his butt kicked by Mechagodzilla. Then Mechagodzilla makes his way towards Angers, tries to kill him, Godzilla saves him, and all that stuff. 
and he uses nuclear pulse to reveal Mechagodzilla. Episode 3 is slightly different as well, as we see that Godzilla and Ankers obviously get their butt kicked by Mechagodzilla. The only thing is, Mechagodzilla's arm's not torn off. And in this design, Mechagodzilla just looks like, well, the show of Mechagodzilla. Anyways, moving on. So after Gorgia rips off Mechagodzilla's head, and after thinking they won the battle, Titanosaurus shows up and Gorgia fights Titanosaurus. However, Mechagodzilla fires his missiles at Gorgia, drawing his attention away from Titanosaurus. So that way, Titanosaurus can basically attack Gorgia. Rodan saves his life, but we don't see him dropping Titanosaurus in the ocean. Which is kind of odd. Really odd. And besides that, there's nothing different. However, this time we actually get an episode 4. And episode 4 reveals that there was a human village living right in the center of the battlefield. And we meet our main characters by the name of C.V. and T.O. I think, correct me in the comments below if I got their names right. Anyways, it's revealed that their mother was killed during the fight. Right. And, yeah. I don't like how the story completely changes to once being a Godzilla story to now being a human character story. I would have left it a lot better if the human characters get their own prequel. Or sort of sequel to the stories. Basically, like the sequel to the main story. Like, like a story that focuses on the human characters. But then again, it makes sense since there's like a Exilion as a main villain and not a Kaiju as a main villain. I gotta love the original story how there was a Kaiju as a main villain. The human animation does not look great, but the monster animation, on the other hand, looks perfect. 10 out of 10. Way better than most MMD Godzilla animations I've seen. Yes, you heard me, a MMD Godzilla Earth videos, you heard me. Anyway, CB and Tia just wander around and just get into some trouble. This time we meet some new kaiju, Gorosaurus and Kamunga. Yeah. Also may I mention that there's also some Ultraman kaiju, like G-Res, and like a miniature four-legged Gamora by the name of Ox, I think. Anyways, they try to help the Gorosauruses try to find their babies, and, well, one of them is end up dead, and Godzilla battles, Gor battles uh, Kamunga, but Kamunga comes back and tries to kill the main characters and fights Gorosaurus, but he gets killed by God's, I mean, by Gorgira. However, the series gets another reboot. As the as all the characters get a redesigned. Again. Like, seriously. What is up with this series? Why is it getting constant reboots? Can they just like stay as like the current story? Like Like I get it. If they're not comfortable with the current design, then it's understandable, I mean. But the series have to constantly change the design over and 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 over again. Seriously, they change the design like constantly. I was like, hey, I might have to do a part two about this.